I'm an idiot because once before Rebecca and I got married, she asked me whether or not I knew that we would not be having children if we did get married. And I said, yes. And because she knew I was lying, she asked if I was really okay with that. And because I'm an idiot, I said, yes, again. And once during a fight, she told me that she felt like my first wife. And I, like an idiot, assured her that she was. She worked out at the gym five times a week and smoked as many packs of ultralights. And I'm an idiot because when I asked her why, she said, because I hate myself and I want to die. And I laughed and said something I don't recall, something completely and utterly insufficient. From the rooftop of our apartment, I watched 40 or 50 people jump from the towers on a Tuesday morning. We used to be able to see them from the south, just as to the north, we can still see, and by we, I guess I just mean me now, the Empire State Building, which still steeps me in gratitude because I'm an idiot. From the smoke, with arms flailing, I swear I saw a perfect swan. And I was gonna write a poem about how fire is the only thing that can make a person jump out of a window. And maybe I'm an idiot because I thought I could have saved her. Call me her knight in shattered armor. Could have loved her more or told her the truth about children. But depression too is a kind of fire.